Welcome to the GoFundMe for the Ball Python Deep Dive Project. This is a really, really ambitious project, and to my knowledge, has never been done before. This is an episodic docu-series. We want to include all the relevant studies on ball pythons and then weave that into the story, weave that into the journey of discovery for the viewer. But this isn't just a documentary, we're doing real science at the same time. So we're creating an international study on how ball pythons use their enclosures. Now we're using something called a spatial participation index and what that is, basically it will give you an index number to see how equally ball pythons use their enclosure. But what it will also let us do is identify what resources are most important to the ball pythons in the study. Will it be UV? Will it be the hides? Will it be climbing? Will it be a basking lamp? Who knows, but let's find out. An SBI study has never been done on ball pythons before. We'll also be documenting the journey of an individual ball python from rack life to vivarium life. How, throughout the course of the weeks, will her body condition change, her muscle structure? How will her blood change? The docuseries will set the viewer up with a full understanding of animal welfare science. The history of it, what it is, how we measure animal welfare, and then delve into the journey of discovery on bull pythons. Delving into the history of bull pythons, the first expedition that discovered them, let's go visit the actual animals that are still in a collection to date, the original sign type, the original animals that were collected to define the species and describe the species, their evolutionary history and what makes them what they are. The history of them in zoos coming into herpetoculture, the boom of morphs, the rise of racks. We want to show you bull pythons under the lens, camera work, footage of them and how they act when you're not looking at them in a 23 foot long enclosure, in a floor to ceiling type enclosure. And then finally, we want to analyse all the interpretations, all the footage of wild animals. Bring it all together, extract the data from studies, look at this holistic viewpoint and then identify the gaps and go out to Ghana ourselves and film those gaps. We want to go to Ghana with a team of professionals and film bull pythons in the wet season. There's been lots of work done on bull pythons during the dry season, looking at them when they're using burrows or when they're on eggs, when they're breeding during the estivation season. We want to go during the wet season, the off period, when they're active, when they're hunting, when they're moving. We want to collect microclimate data, power density readings, UVI readings, spectral readings, surface temperatures, humidity readings. You get the idea. We want to go out there and just gather as much as we can and bring it back. Let's not just go to the anthropogenically altered habitats. Let's go to the forest where the hunters are actually said to release them to after they've collected them. Will there be so much flooding that bull pythons are forced to climb for refuge? Or will they just be moving in their environment? Let's find out. Either way, we'll show what we find. This is something of an order of magnitude that has never been done before. We want to set a new bar and put it right up here. So if you'd like to help in any way to make this possible, then please check out the GoFundMe. There's lots of things that I'm pouring my money into and I'm giving what I have to make possible but there's so much that are, is beyond me but I, we know that we have the skill set to make something like this possible if we can get to sort of five grand we'll produce a documentary without going to africa if we can get to the full amount we'll do it the full shebang and we'll go to ghana ourselves and bring a team of people with us